This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV. And today I'm speaking to Tyler Jennison from In Situ, and he's going to show us their Terra portable X ray diffraction system. Uh, Terra is actually a really fascinating instrument in that it is the world's first truly portable X ray diffractometer. Uh, most X ray diffractometers are very large instruments that take up most of a laboratory. This is a laboratory instrument that you can bring with you into the field. Uh, it runs off of four lithium ion batteries and it weighs about 15 kilograms. The instrument's really easy to use. Uh, everything is stationary, so that way you can actually move it around and it can go into rugged environments. Uh, we have an x-ray tube and a uh, two-dimensional detector, and that allows us to get very quick diffraction patterns that somebody could take in the field and then um, download to a PC and analyze. As far as sample preparation goes, uh, in the field, take a, a rock sample of any kind, crush it down, and uh, sieve it out to 100 mesh. Once you have that loose powder, you can take it and load it into um, the sample holding device. You load a, bit, a little bit of powder into here, about 15 milligrams. It'll fall down between some mylar windows and it'll move around inside. Uh, if you allow me, I'll show you that. This little guy here, we call an external shaker. It allows the uh, sample holder to vibrate and for a uh, sample to move around inside the instrument. So from the top panel here, I'll go ahead and load some sample in. And if you can see, the sample is loading down to that yellow window. And it moves around inside, giving us a uh, random orientation of the crystal lattice. And that's very key for XRD. XRD is based on seeing all aspects of the crystal lattice. And uh, when you have that random orientation, you, have, uh, you can get rid of any kind of preferential orientation and get a very clean, uh, full XRD pattern. Once it's loaded, I can stop it, insert it back into the instrument, and start an acquisition just by hitting go. Now uh, the instrument will start up. You'll see that it's all safely contained in here. There's no need for cooling system or anything else like that. We have x-ray lights that will show on right here. And um, you'll see a bit of information about how the acquisition is taking place. Uh, after about 15 seconds, uh, we'll have our first diffraction pattern and right now uh, everything is being saved to the onboard computer on the instrument. At any time uh, somebody with a wi wirelessly or Wi-Fi enabled device can view the information and download it to their PC. If you look over here, I just have a regular iPad connected to the instrument and you can see uh, the acquisition is uh, taking place. Go ahead and click the data tab. And you can see that I already have my first diffraction pattern showing up. And we constantly will um, take a picture of 5 to 55 degrees to theta. Uh, and every 15 seconds, you saw it just now update. And every 15 seconds, it'll update and we get better and better peak to background ratios and less noise overall. So that allows us to get diffraction patterns in um, a fraction of the time that a large system would have to move around. Right, Tyler. And how much memory is there, how much onboard memory is there with the Terra? Like, how many how many samples could it remember you having analyzed? Uh, the samples are saved as simple text files, and these text files are only a few kilobytes large. So you can save literally thousands of samples. <laughs> and and how long would the batteries last? How much how much work could you do with the, with the Terra before you'd have to take it back to recharge? Yeah, you could actually run for about seven to eight hours, depending on how much actual use is going on. All right, and um, and it's, it's mainly mainly designed for geological type samples, that type of thing, in you know, field. It's uh, designed for basically anything you can think of for XRD. Um, Terra lends itself very well to geologic samples. However, uh, any kind of pharmaceutical samples to uh, um, oil and gas exploration to mining uh, to nanoparticle engineered particle analysis, just about anything you think of that you'd need XRD for. What's the resolution of this compared to like a, a typical sort of large laboratory type of instrument? Completely comparable. One of the nice things about using our uh, two-dimensional detector is that we get the same kind of resolution that you'd get from a large instrument. And we get it that much faster because we can uh, analyze every 15 seconds. All right, Tyler, thanks very much for telling us about the, the Terra portable x-ray diffraction system. If anybody wants more information on that, they can go to your website, presumably. Yep. Situ.com. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks very much for telling us about the Terra system. Thank you.